soaring more than 12 percent after Bank of America said this could be the next target in the Reddit rebellion. The bank noting an uptick in mentions on Reddit's Wall Street Bets board. Kramer also pointed Beyond's 22 percent short interest. Beyond is now up 14 percent this year. And I will go to the trader, the only one on this panel, I believe, who is actually um, laughing at this whole uh, notion, Tim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. Uh, today we're going to discuss Beyond Meat. I uh, picked up some shares of Beyond Meat and placed some covered calls against her. You're going to see my position. And we're going to cover our CNBC uh, Fast Money uh, video and uh, numerous updated news. Now we're also going to discuss the short positions and the short squeeze. Okay, all the links will be in the below description if you want to refer back to them. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and click any of the money icons below to review our past videos. And please click the like button and subscribe so you can get into our future videos. So let's get busy. Here's our current position and beyond. I have 200 shares of it. I picked up some premium already today. And I already have some premium out for next week as well. And if everything goes well, we'll pick up $1,330 for the week on the 4th of June. Remember, uh, Monday is a holiday, so therefore it's going to be a short trading week for next week. Uh, currently, the market is closed. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. Central Time. As you can see, uh, three of the four indices are in the green. Wow, they're, they're starting to go downward at the end there. Okay, uh, on Beyond Meat, uh, today it traded 15.8 million shares today. That's a lot of shares for the stock here. The average is only 3.4 million. And the reason why is we'll go into the short interest and the amount of shares that are outstanding. Remember, it's only a $9 billion market cap. Let's see what our analysts are stating. We have the low of 58. We got the average of 119 and the high of 190. Let's go through the short interest. This is based off of the report on 514. And 14 million shares are sold short. And that's over 25% of the float. That was an increase of 14.6% from their previous 15 days. The float size is only 55 million shares. It's easy short squeeze play. I will put, put all this stuff in the below description as well. Let's go to the chart here. Uh, before we hit the other news, as you can see, there was a big dip here before earnings, then earnings came out, and next thing you know, we started going a northern trend. This, each one of these tickers are one day. Now you're going to hear from this CNBC Fast Money folks that this thing could travel right back up to 190. Let's look at this when this happened. We were at about a 129 at that time and we shot straight up to 193. The Fast Money guys think we're going back there. And we'll see the rest of that video here in a little bit. My thoughts, we are going to go back there because of all those contracts they got in China and all those other places they put out. But I think it's going to take us a little bit of time. I think we're going to have to take a little bit of a break here, a little bit of a pause for a couple of days. That's why I put cover calls against my position. The first article here is from the Motley Fool Group. Two re reasons to be bullish on Beyond Meat. The first quarter of 2021, Beyond Meat saw 11.4% year-over-year revenue growth, despite the domestic food service segment being down 26% year-over-year. The second reason is looking through Beyond Meat Investor Relationship press release. The company has announced numerous partnerships. To name a few, in the past three months, it has increased its products in Walmart, partnered up with Pizza Hut, Canada and Carl's Jr. 
announced major retail expansions throughout Europe and opened up a manufacturing facility in China. So these guys are moving quick. Now here's another uh, Motley Fool article. It's stating why is it jumping up 3%? Because Beyond Meat is heavily shorted with over 25% of the floats sold short. But Kramer said that the combined combination of the company's management and the deals such as those of McDonald's and Yum brands suggests he does it doesn't deserve the negativity. He argued for Reddit traders to rally around the stock to force a short squeeze, and he wants to interview the, uh, these folks on his show. I will also put this article down below. So let's see what these guys' answers are. <laughs> laughing at this whole thing. <laughs> Openly laughing. Yeah, well, the laughs, yeah, the, the laughs, the laughs on me. If, if in fact I, you know, certainly, thank goodness, I, I wouldn't be short any of these names. Uh, yeah, he's honest. You would not want to be short Beyond Meat. So if you're a part of that twenty-five percent, I, I recommend covering somehow, some way. Uh, the desire to shrink your carbon footprint, to eat healthier, etc. There were there were factors behind this. A new type to make the spicy beef wrap at Yum. Um, and, and so where do you stand on yeah. this? I know it's something you'll never eat. I, I think, it, of course not. And I, how many times, you've heard me say it, I mean, the, the product doesn't sit well with me, but I do like the stock. And, you know, Jim Cramer mentioned it, and now they have this relationship with KFC China. I mean, now they, you know, the folks in mainland China can experience some of the joy that I experienced when we did our taste test many, seemingly many years ago. But, you know, I think the stock's going to take a run at that 190 level that we failed at a couple times. I think... I think you probably own the stock in earnings in early August, if memory serves. Maybe. So you heard it from Fast Money there, 190. I appreciate you guys watching our video today. Uh, remember, uh, make sure at least 50% of your position, you want to put cover calls against them. If I was you guys, uh, that's what we're, we're, I'm doing here. I don't mind just making $1,200 in a week. That's okay with me. Uh, click the like button and subscribe to this channel so you can get our future content. Y'all have a safe and great weekend. This is Sunny. I'm out.